Yo, Bobby. Rise and shine. Hey, we need to talk. I hope you're decent. That's been weird. Since when did you get up before 10? You can't do this. Do what? Keep me locked up all night without arresting me. I know my rights. What do you think this is, TV? I... I get a lawyer. I know that much. Well, then, you know, it takes a while to get one. I put in a call last night, but since it was so late... That's when you decided to pick me up. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll find you one. Hey. Maybe we can call Eli Clark. He did such a great job with Hannah O'Connor. And you two can talk about how you covered for him when he bashed your head in. What do you think? Should I make the call? Bobby, hey, it's me. I looked for you this morning. You must have left already. Hey, listen, give me a call. I want to know what happened between you and that cop last night. What are you waiting for? Call Eli. Let's not get too hasty. What are my options? Your options begin with you telling me everything I need to know about Clark. And if I don't? You can't keep me cooped up in here much longer without somebody higher up finding out that you've been taking certain liberties. Well, if you're going to cry about it, I'll let you go right now. Yeah. Right after I leaked to Clark that you came here of your own free will and started singing like a canary. You know that's not what happened. I don't care. It only matters what Eli thinks, right? You can't do this! You, I'll sue you! I will sue you, and people are gonna find out you're gonna lose your badge! date I thought you were gonna call actually I was wondering if you'd seen my brother why what's wrong probably nothing it's just Bobby was gone before I got up this morning and he's not exactly an early riser so I figured if he went anywhere I'd be here to see you why would you think that weren't you the one who said he didn't want anything to do with me isn't that you why you asked me out yeah you know since I'm here why don't we make good on that date right now why don't you just admit it? What? You're only asking me out to drive Star crazy. So, you ready to talk? Or do you want to take your chances with Eli? Why you know, do you care why I'm asking you out? Aren't you going out with me just to stick it to my brother? Like, come on, I promise it'll be painless. Well... Maybe not for Bobby. Okay, just wanted to say I'll see you guys later. Now, now, Langston, perhaps you'd like to introduce us to your little friend. Yes, darling, it's only good manners. Uh, fine. Everybody, this is James. James, this is everybody. James. I'm David Buchanan. Hey. Not so fast. You have a job? Do you? Blair, I am in character. I'm trying to make sure that our little girl doesn't date below her station. <sighs> this is your dad. Oh, God, no. And on that note, we're gonna get out of here. Goodbye. <laughs> Honey, where are you going? We have plans. Yes, but what about our wedding? Oh, God, that's still happening? Of course it is. Absolutely, darling, and I want you to be my maid of honor. I need a best man. Come on. I'm gonna need somebody to stand with me, too. I better call Star. I wonder who'll have the honor of being my best man. That depends on how much you shell out, I'm sure. Wow, so it's true what I read on my face? There you are. I was just getting ready to call you. How does a double wedding sound to you? <laughs> it sounds great. Congratulations. Thank you, gorgeous. I'm so excited Good. for you. And welcome to the family. Thank you, Star. Oh, yes, it is all very wonderful, but we haven't got much time, so everybody start getting ready. Oh, yeah, I don't even have anything to wear. Oh, I'll go I, and get... Oh. Oh, well, uh, what, what's going on? Oh, uh, allow me to make the introduction, Star. This young man no, is... No, I know who he, who he is. I just want to know what he's doing here. Are you here to see me or something? Not exactly. I came to take Langston on our date. 
Well, your timing couldn't be any worse because, as you can see, our family is really busy right now, so your date will just have to be postponed. Nonsense. Langston needs a new man. He's clearly bucking for the job. I said bucking. You can take him to the wedding. First, I need a guarantee that I'll be protected and immunity. No one will come to you if you cooperate. Yeah, you'll forgive me if I need a little more than that. I personally guarantee your safety. As for immunity, well, it all depends on what you can give in return. I can give you Eli Clark, and I can exonerate Hannah O'Connor. Okay, well, wait a second. Okay, I, I, don't you think we're just getting caught up in the moment? What are you talking about? It's gonna be the double wedding of the decade. Well, I just still think that James shouldn't come. Why not? Because he's practically a stranger, and this is going to be a family thing. An intimate family thing. Well, not all that intimate. Oh, come on, there's gonna be a bunch of people there that he doesn't know, and they're all gonna be getting tipsy. Oh, come on, that happened once, one wedding. Come well, on. And they're gonna be cutting in jokes. Nothing wrong with a little family history. Plus, it'll be all, you know, sentimental. I love sentimental. See? What is that? It's the bullet I got shot with. I keep it close to my heart. <laughs> I definitely want to hear the rest of this story. I gotta go fetch my pa. He's gonna be my best man. And I will definitely tell it to you at the wedding. In between dances. What time should I be ready? Get ready as soon as possible, because uh, speaking for Blair and Eli and David now absent, we have waited long enough for this day. Couldn't agree more. Mm. <laughs> Anna O'Connor did not attack me. Eli Clark did. Why did you tell me it was Hannah? Because Eli contacted me after I woke up in the hospital. He said he'd let me be if I accused Hannah instead. And you believed him? But what choice did I have? I wasn't exactly in a position to object. I did what he said. Why did Eli attack you in the first place? Because I was blackmailing him. With what? I found out I used to go by another name. Bennett Thompson. 